Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 fashion loadout video, where I bring you new and fashionable loadouts from the community every once a week. Today's fashionable loadout, we will be going with a dusty and old look for our Warlock character, as if she was exiled to the wild, and made a return to pass on her knowledge and tactical skills. I like to call this one the Exile Devourer Lock, a menacing and unusual loadout that works well in both PvP and PvE. This fashion loadout was something I created for a multitude of reasonings, such as I wanted to create a warlock that looked white via appearance through the dark and gold colours meshing together, but was tremendously powerful through the knowledge and skills she gained over the years of her exile as a voidwalker, but at the same time not going with anything too bright or fancy, just a look that would fit the personality of a scholar or a researcher. And the best way forward for that was to design her look so that appearance wise, she looked like someone that's been on the road for quite a while, and not that much of a threat at first glance, however the moment she has to fight, she can fight with ease. This is how I would imagine her lore wise, someone who is on the same level as Toland, but not as crazy as Toland. So for the gear, I went with the following look. Your primary is the Vigilance Wing with the Book of the Dead Skin, your secondary is the Annual Scape with the Golden Trace Shader, and your heavy is the Main Ingredient Fusion Rifle with the Golden Trace Shader as well. Your gear is the Nezarak Sin Helmet with no shader, your gauntlets will be the Hyro Camo Gauntlets with Iron Wall Shader, your chest will be the Exodus Down robes with the Atlantis Wall Shader. Your boots will be the Tesseract Trace boots with the Iron Wall Shader. And lastly, your bond will be the Binary Phoenix bond with the new Monarchy Regalia Shader. Now, although this might not be appealing to others to look at because of the colours being dull and mainly using a lot of browns, I find the visual of it a lot more appealing as it tells a story on its own about the character and what I personally may be like. For example, my Devour Lock is someone that is quite old and timid and through travelling in the wild has mastered the art of the void and used it to power itself up over time, which feels like it fits into the Destiny universe perfectly. Also to mention, this loadout can play pretty well on both PvP and PvE with your selective weapons and gear, benefiting in health recovery and energy feedback. So for example, in PvE your weapons will allow you to take on a multitude of enemies with ease, from long distance to short range fights. What makes it even better is the Nezarak Sin perk, where each time you kill someone with a void based weapon, you get a bit of energy back to your class abilities, and the Devourer Tree class for the Void Walker, which allow you to devour your own grenade, and each time you kill someone, you get a full health again. Now combine these two together, and you become a walking healing tank, that can devour their own grenades, and have constant health recovery for each kill. While at the same time, using a Void weapon will give you back energy to your abilities, to where you can repeat the process over and over again. It's a very powerful loadout in PvE, that I recommend you try out, and it's brilliant to use in a raid against adds, or even prestige mode, or even nightfall if you want to, increasing your survivability by, I say, about 90%. In PvP, the loadout can make a stand very well against singular targets, as long as you aim for the head as much as possible. Your Visionized Wing is great for taking down players within 3 shots, and also has an added bonus where each time an ally nearby dies, you can get an increased movement speed and increased health regeneration, to where, like I said before, combined with a Devourer Lock class tree, you can become a walking regenerative monster and never need to worry about waiting till your health recovers after a fight, you can just go straight back into a fight again, since your health recovery will recover within an instant. Your gear set also allows you to focus primarily on focus as well from the clips shown, however your mobility will be low because of your gear, and your resilience although okay means you can't take too much hits as you can get killed quite easily, and even though you focus on recovery it can only do so much to help you survive, so beware. So ID, if you're going to be playing this loadout, I recommend that you pick your fights, because not all your fights you'll be able to win. Yes, you can Yes, you can recover your health relatively quickly and much faster than other people, but at the same time, because your resilience is low, it basically means that you can only take a few shots. And also the fact that because your mobility is quite low as well, it basically means that when engaging with people, if you're in a firefight where you can't win and you're trying to escape, there's a high chance that you will not escape it. So that's why I always recommend that you kind of have a backup plan, just in case. So, if you enjoy 3 having constant health recovery, and looking for a fashion reload out that plays its part in both PvP and PvE, then why not give this role a try? It's effective in both PvE, it's great in both PvP, and look wise, it's not the best, but personally I like it, like I said before, it gives off a little story. To me, it looks like a very old warlock, a warlock that's been around for quite a while, and has seen the damage and changes that's happened within their environment. So it looks like they have a story of their own, to which really fits into the Destiny atmosphere perfectly. So that's the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it, if you did then by me leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. 
If you didn't, then by means leave a dislike. I understand. I'll look back over the video and I look on where I need to improve on in the future. So once again, people, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.